You're Marcus, right? That's right. You're the tallest player on the team. Oh. Makes me wonder why you're putting three-pointers up every time you come down the court. Ask Coach Dan. I made the most threes on the team last year. Coach Dan, how many threes did Marcus make last year? Made 34. Out of Ooh. how many attempts? Out of 130. 26%, Marcus. If you want to know why they're leaving you open, it's because they don't think you could hit the ocean from the beach. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, he just spit facts at your ass, bro. Man, shut up. I don't need any help. Tell us about it. it it's, it's a great movie. I'm as proud of this as anything I've ever done. It's about how uh, sports can change people's lives. It's about redemption. It's about facing adversity and overcoming it. Uh, you know, so many of the lessons that basketball teaches us. If you love basketball, I think you'll love this movie. These guys play the, I play the coach, not, not the player. And um, that's about a guy who was a high school star, goes back to coach his old team. And uh, he learns a lot from them. They get a lot from him. These guys reinvigorated my love for acting and for movies. And uh, it, was, it was a pleasure. They're terrific in the movie. And uh, it opens on Friday. What was most interesting to me was just that as an acting role, it was really challenging. It's definitely the kind of part I couldn't have played, certainly not when I was starting out, maybe not even 10 years ago. It's the kind of role that, you know, for me as an actor, and there are all kinds of different actors and some of them can do incredible things, that like for me, I have to be able to connect to some life experience to bring that to bear in the role. And so the more life experience I've had, the more ups and more downs, particularly from challenges, from pain, from, you know, comes growth. And, uh, and I learned more things about myself, and so I thought, you know, I had more to bring to bear performance-wise. And I was interested in doing dramas about real people that, yes, presented challenges and difficulties in realistic ways, but also were inspiring and suggested that, you know, life can get better, because it absolutely can. And, uh, you know, so I, I saw this mainly as like a real acting test for me, and it ended up being something kind of more and became a movie that's actually quite meaningfully, meaningful to me personally uh, as well. I don't know where anyone would be without second chances. I think you judge people by their successes, not by their failures. We can all fail. Um, but, you know, it takes a lot to uh, face something that's really difficult and really scary and really hard, whatever that is in your life, 
and to get past it, experience it, understand it's not going to destroy you, that you can grow from it, learn those lessons, apply that to your life going forward, and uh, continue to get better. And, and you know, I think uh, the themes of redemption and second chance, and I'm a guy who's needed, you know, I feel like 27,432 chances, but uh, it's, it's, it's one of the most graceful and beautiful things we can do as people is to kind of embrace our own flaws, the flaws of others, accept that, uh, and, and, and try to see people who genuinely want to get better and help them. I think this movie is deeply inspirational because it's not hokey, it's not preachy, it's not like a, a lecture. I don't, I don't want to see that, I don't want to do that. But it is a story about like uh, somebody who's gone through pain, some pain I can understand, some I, I have no idea. I, I can't imagine what this, what it would have been like for to go through that. Um, but that, you know, it's kind of like Goodwill Hunting. Like, how do you re-engage in life after suffering? How do you decide like to live according to your values? How do you get past things that are really hard? And that, I think, is really... Um, important and, and valuable and, and, and meaningful to me. Gavin O'Connor and Ben Affleck are two lion-hearted men. They have giant souls. And I think you are going to see it in this film. Um, Gavin created an incredibly safe place for Ben and I to do whatever it took to get us to the places that we had to go to to, to show these people's lives. And um, we're really proud of, of that. Yeah, we're proud of what we did. Everybody's an underdog in some part of their life. We're all struggling in some way. And when, when you're presented with a, with a character that you can identify with, you, you can feel like you have a voice in, in things that you can't speak of for yourself. It's, it's just universal because we all feel it. If we could just talk to each other more about our big feelings, we'd all be feeling better about things. <laughs> Angela and Jack are still in love with each other. Um, you can tell Angela loves him so much, but you cannot love someone into helping themselves. And uh, I just hope people who see this movie and, and may identify with Jack can feel a sense of worthiness in themselves to take the help of those who love that. Ben Affleck, who stars in the movie, is sensational. He's wonderful. He's, I got to see firsthand why he's an, the actor that he is. I hope to work with him someday as a director because I love his sensibility so much. That's why I want to do this movie. And then Gavin is such a nuanced, formidable director. He's my kind of director. Sensitive. Really, really tuned in to the experience that's happening on set. Um, doesn't suffer BS. He's great. There's so many reasons to come up uh, feeling bereft of like joy because you can create a story why everything is hopeless. But when you watch an underdog movie, it's a reminder like if you stay true to yourself and do the work, like you could change your whole landscape. I hope that people take away inspiration. I hope people feel the way I felt when I watched it, which was less lonely um, in like grief and really, really hopeful that human connection can save us all. Gavin was the reason I got excited for this movie. Gavin was a the person that gave me confidence that this movie was going to be, I don't know, something that I could believe in. Um, I, I read the script and like I think I had this perception already in my mind about like sports films. I was like, oh, it's going to be a cliche sports movie. But then when I got to the callback with Gavin, I was like, oh, this isn't going to be a cliche sports movie. He was very, he was open. He was open from the jump and very welcoming and very genuine. So like, I didn't feel at all that he was going to make this anything cliche or. I trusted it. And working with Ben was, Ben was constantly generous. And I was quiet a lot shooting in the movie and shooting the movie, but you could just feel he was always there and he was always answering questions that everyone had and he was always very generous. And in our one-on-one -on -one scenes together, Ben had always, he was always giving. 
like so like there's coverage so like, even if they're getting my side or and he's not even on the camera he's always completely in it and just always giving every moment so it's just I, I mean I couldn't ask for anything else everyone's been there everyone's been in that position where they don't they don't even have faith in themselves or have confidence in themselves that they can reach this thing but so to be able to see someone come from this and to climb that ladder that seems that's painted like as this impossible feat it's like oh it gives someone a little bit of it gives someone a little bit of hope it gives someone it lights a little bit of a little bit of a fire in you that you're like oh okay i can do this i can i can take another step and see what happens i can take another step and see what happens Gavin O'Connor, man, he's he's really easy to work with. Uh, I watched some of his movies that he's done, and I kind of got a little intimidated uh, until I work with him. I'm thinking it's going to be something complicated. He's so easy to work with, plays it simple, uh, great at giving direction. He's a great leader, and I had such an amazing time working with both of them. The greatest experience of my life. Not everybody can relate to hitting a last-minute shot, a game-winning shot. I know I can't. Uh, but I know that people can, can relate to adversity, tribulation, overcoming obstacles in daily lives. We always face something every day. So when you see somebody, you know, overcoming struggle, I don't know, it does something to humans, seeing somebody come from the bottom and work their way up, because we all can relate to it. And it gives us a special feeling inside that makes us feel like we can accomplish anything. The main message I would probably say is that if you have the right support system around you, around people that love you, and you have the mental determination and dedication to do something, you can overcome anything, uh, anything that you want to do. Uh, you know, growing up as a kid, I heard that if a lot of people told me you need to fix your ways now because when you're 30 years old, that you kind of get stuck in your own ways. I think that's nonsense. You know what I mean? I think at any age, at any time, if you have the mental ability, you can overcome anything. And there's a second chance, and no matter what age, it is possible. You can overcome anything. It was great to work with Ben and Gavin. You know, Gavin's been one of my favorite directors. Warrior is one of my favorite movies. So to have the opportunity to work with him was great already. And then add Ben Affleck into the you know whole equation just made it that much better. Because everybody has an under, uh, underdog story in their life. You know, one point or another, it was the trials and tribulations that you have to kind of fight through and overcome. And sports movies are reminiscent of that. That we're all human, we all go through mistakes, we all need help to, you know, come back. And if people lead with love, you know, we can help those who, who need help most and they can overcome it. And in turn, maybe um, it can help us. Ben Affleck was a pleasure to work with. He taught every single one of us, I think, a different thing. And I think every single one of us walked away with something different by the end of the film. Um, for me, I think he taught me to never lose the joy in acting and, and to never lose the, the pleasure in the craft because once you do that then it becomes a job right and you never want to be doing a job you want to just be having fun and that's also something Gavin O'Connor said the director he said uh, he tells his wife when he leaves for work every day like all right I'm going to work or, or she says have fun at work and he says oh, I'm not going to work I'm going to play and I think that's something that you really got to keep in mind is that what you're doing for your profession needs to be what you love and I think he taught all of us that Everybody wants the underdog to do it. I mean, I, I think just in life, it's not fun when the person that is supposed to win wins. You know what I mean? I mean, I guess there's exceptions like LeBron James. You see, he's the greatest basketball player ever. I mean, him and Michael Jordan, and when they win, it's just amazing because they're the greatest. But in general, like, you want to see that comeback. You want to see that 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 underdog that that wasn't supposed to make it, that wasn't supposed to you know do anything and prove you wrong. And that's what March Madness is all about. You know, that's why we love when Duke loses to you know number. 50 15 Mercer or whatever in the, in the brackets in the you know first round and yeah I, I, I just think that's why people get such a joy out of watching underdogs I think audiences should take away a story of redemption of hope um, I think a lot of people may go into this thinking oh this is just you know a Hoosiers uh, Mighty Ducks you know so, uh, your typical sports film and then Halfway through it, they're gonna be like, oh wow, this is like some real stuff. This is like a really uh, amazing, powerful, moving story of redemption. Working with Ben Affleck and Gavin O'Connor, I've been a huge fan of The Accountant, so getting seeing those two match up again, incredible. Uh, but uh, working with Gavin, I mean, after Warrior, Miracle, and The Accountant, 
really sort of dream come true scenario for me, a stand-up comedian, getting to be in a drama, which you don't see uh, too often, but um, you're working with two uber professionals uh, on a incredible movie. I love that they chose the title The Way Back because I think it says it all for anybody who's struggling with addiction. Like there is a path to recovery. Um, so I, I think the message is like there is a light at the end of the tunnel no matter how dark you know things get. There is a way out. There is a way back. Futureprevews.com. Go behind the scenes of movies. Subscribe to Future Flicks YouTube channel.